Hi everyone. Today I'm making a fish dish for you. It's a baked fish, so you need to have your oven on 350 and get it warming. So what I'm making for you today is called um, baked pineapple fish. And um, you can choose whatever fish you want to use. You need, a bit of, need to have about three pounds of it. Today, I prefer to use salmon because that's my husband's favorite fish. So, what you'll need is some aluminum foil and a, either a um, cookie sheet or some sort of baking pan, which I have a baking pan, and you need to line your um, pan with aluminum foil and then spray it with Pam or whatever cooking spray you have to keep it from sticking. So, like I said, you'll need about three pounds of fish, your favorite fish which is what I have here. We have salmon. You'll need some pineapple slices. You'll need 17 of them. 17. You'll need some salt and some pepper. You'll need three tablespoons of melted butter You'll need three tablespoons of sweet chili sauce. Next is two tablespoons of chopped cilantro. The equivalent of three cloves of minced garlic, which I use this that you get in the store comes out to one and a half teaspoons for three cloves you'll need two teaspoons of grated ginger or chopped ginger whatever two teaspoons of toasted sesame seed oil Two teaspoons. A half a teaspoon of crushed red pepper flakes, but I didn't have the pepper flakes, I just have the ground um, red pepper, so I use the two teaspoons of that. I mean, excuse me, a half a teaspoon. Blah! What am I thinking? Half a teaspoon of red pepper. And that is it. So let's throw this all together. Okay, you've got your pan all lined with your aluminum foil. So, and you've sprayed it with Pam. So what you're gonna do next, you're gonna turn your oven on to 350 and let it be warming up. And what we're gonna do next is we're gonna take our pineapple rings and we're gonna lay them in here. All 17 of them. I guess if you're using a cookie sheet, you have more room, but that's okay. I'll just do them like this. All right. Now what you're gonna do next, I'm gonna place my salmon pieces on top of my pineapple. Skin side down. I think I'm going to cut this piece in, in half. There we go. Perfect. Okay, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to put some salt and pepper on my salmon. Sprinkle some on.
You can use whatever your favorite spice is when you make this. Okay, you're wanna, gonna, going, going to want to get a small bowl and a whisk. You're gonna put your butter in this bowl. Your sesame seed oil. Your sweet chili sauce. Your garlic. Minced garlic. Your <clears throat> red pepper flakes or ground red pepper. Your cilantro. And your ginger. We're going to take a whisk and we're going to whisk it all together. Smells wonderful. Mm -mm -mm. Some of my favorite spices. All right, we've got it all whisked together. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put it on top of our salmon. You can also use a big piece of salmon instead of having little cutlets like I've got. You get it all on there and spread it around on the top of your piece of salmon or your salmon pieces then you're going to put it in the oven and you're going to bake it for about 25 minutes on 350 so I'm going to put it in the oven and I'll be right back I just wanted to say if you're not using salmon um, you can use your favorite type of fish and you just do this recipe just like I did it, but your fish is just different. Okay, everybody, my salmon is done. Now you will cook your fish, if it's not as thick as this, um, until it's done, you can just Google it and see how long you bake a certain type of fish, like if you're doing catfish or whatever. But anyway, I cooked this salmon for 25 minutes in the oven. And if you want, you can take, when it's done, your salmon or the type of fish that you have, and you can put it under the broiler for a little bit and let it um, get a little brown on top. But my husband looked at it and he said, no, he'll eat it just like this. So it is done and it is aromatic. It's smelling up my whole kitchen of ginger and sweet chili sauce and onion and garlic. Mm-mm-mm. Okay, I've got my taste testers here. They're going to get them a piece of salmon and taste it for us. It's nice and flaky. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. It's really good. Splendid. All right, there you go. They're happy campers. All right, so until my next video, happy eating.